I had never heard of a derecho before experiencing it for myself. We heard on the radio, watch it, it's coming. And five minutes later, there was this tornado of a storm. And the wind just came over the hill so strong. And we heard it was called a derecho. We had never heard of it before, but to me, it was a hurricane. You know, there, there weren't any major incidences. Nobody lost their life, but there were a lot of people very, very frightened, as, I, as was I. So we, we looked on the internet and we found out that a derecho means straight line in Spanish. And a straight line is when um, a weather event, when two fronts or two uh, low pressure areas come together and form a straight line with very high winds. And the, the high winds hit Georgetown on that day. And then the wind started to pick up. And by this time it was dark. Uh, it, the wind just, you know, within what, 10 minutes? It was, you know, less than 10 up to whatever it was. And it was a, a terrifying loud noise, so it was probably blowing about 70, 80, 80 knots at that time, about hurricane force winds. I realized we were dragging. We could see our track on the chart plotter, and we were heading toward these, the beach and the, these rocky cliffs. There was a boat downwind of us we tried to stay away from, but at one point we just impaled our side onto his bow and then bounced down his side, uh, uh, taking out two stanchions and punching a hole in our cabin side. Uh, um, so it was pretty scary. <laughs> and then we managed to uh, get away from them. The anchor managed to catch and we powered against it for the duration All right. of the direction. Over here, just south of that first beach that you see. You see Monument and you come down and the furthest southern beach, we were in front of that, um, but suddenly we were on the rocks. And we drug on the rocks over there 150 feet. And I can show you on my iPad where Garmin shows us bumping the rocks. And we have little white scars over there to show for it. And we have scars on the side of our boat as well. But we got ourselves motored off the rocks, we put down two more anchors, and we just didn't know what else to do but sit there and hold each other and pray. Well, but it was such high winds at such a high speed and happened so quickly. Nobody really stood a chance. There was a boat uh, called Sandman. They dragged anchor and took us out in the boat next door. Thankfully, they did not end up on the beach as a little French boat did that was anchored beside us. So that, that French boat called Vive de Tom turned over on the beach. And, and the boat immediately went up over on its side and the people jumped out of the boat and ran up into the trees, leaving the engine running and the props still turning on their boat. Uh, they were so terrified by this high winds. And, and uh, then the Sandman, the 50-foot Beneteau, after it broke the small French boat, up onto the beach. Then it picked up the, the 40 uh, Morgan uh, Triumph. And Triumph started to, to spin down along this way, along where the, uh, the same direction as the wind was blowing. And unfortunately, um, Saman's anchor ended up hanging on Triumph's anchor chain, and that's where all the damage happened to poor Bamboo's hull. And then uh, finally, uh, Sandman ran into another boat called Ananya, and it started to, to pound on the front of Ananya, and those fuel cans blew off, uh, dinghies were flipped upside down and, and had to be cut loose, and, and they were lost. Um, we're, we're really glad that we made it through it. It was terrifying for that hour, a little over an hour, while those high winds were buffeting the boat and we were seeing all this damage occurring. But I'm sure hoping I never have to go through one of those again. But the people came together. There, you know, we woke up to daylight, thankfully, you know, going, saying our prayers. Um, but all these boats, dinghies going by, uh, to help people in the, who needed it. And that's the community that we have here. It's a, Georgetown is a very good boating community. True boating style.